What's up, party people? This is your friend and trusted financial advisor, The Chill Gamer. Uh, today's video is a quick tutorial on making a gaming video. Uh, this is obviously for the PC, and I'm running an N NVIDIA card. So this is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You want to get that going. Uh, check your rig <laughs> first off. Wrong button. We need to go over to the rig. There we go and make sure that shadow play is enabled and ready so whatever problem is making it not ready you need to fix it so shadow play needs to be up and going and then you can click your shadow play here by the way guys this video is for someone who's never done any video so we're starting at the very beginning and going through uploading to youtube and all that jazz so here this shows you the um, basically the commands to do different things you can record in the moment you can record the last five minutes or you can record showing your frames per second um, <clears throat> I set these for you know those are custom but I'll show you how to customize them here oh that green button by the way means that it's on so if the green light is on that means you're good to go here we have allowed desktop recording which is currently enabled because I'm recording the desktop but I suggest keeping that off unless you need it because it will often mess with your um, audio in moment or in game so I would suggest leaving that clicked off unless you are doing a specific desktop video um, the mic you can obviously you know push to talk or just have it always running which is what I usually do uh, so this is where you customize your commands you can change things how you see fit and this is where the videos will go after you basically exit recording um, one thing I want to point out about the desktop recording, you'll probably have to dub over those videos. And that's what I'm doing right now is overdubbing because again, the audio for some reason is not very reliable. So we're going to do a quick game and uh, just <clears throat> showing you, you know, how to record in game. Um, when I go ahead and click play on Turin, you'll notice that the green light in the ro lower right hand corner is still on. So we're going from desktop to game, still recording. So I haven't had to turn anything off or, or on. And um, normally you would see there's a little uh, circle in the right-hand corner that tells you that you're recording. It looks like they turn that off in game so that nobody else sees it. But um, when you're recording, you'll see a little green light right. Um, I'll move my mouse over to where it would be right down here there'll be a little light that's on and that just lets you know okay you're on um, you would hit on and then off and when you hit off for recording that file is going to go to the designated folder um, so again you know just turn it on record what you want and then when you hit off um, that video will get saved in the folder so we're going to go check out the, that folder, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So Movie Maker first. Uh, this is a free program that I use to edit my videos. It's free with Windows, and it's a pretty cool program. Certainly not the most powerful, but it is the most free. And uh, you can dub over your video after you're done. So if you didn't like the way you sounded or what you said, you can always record over that and uh, dub it, which is kind of cool, really. Um, <clears throat> especially if you kind of want to think about what you want to say a little bit longer. To make this work, you go find your folder, which I have uh, videos, and then we have Torrent and desktop. Desktop, uh, so that is what I'm recording right now. It's not finished. There's no thumbnail there. But uh, the Torrent fol uh, folder has some earlier gameplay footage. And this is why I love Movie Maker. You just drag it over, and it's going to segment it for you. And um, I like to add my own intro to either side, so I book in that. I made an intro using another tutorial online, and um, it is pretty cool. I, I like it personally. Um, 
But from here, you can, again, dub, you can add messages, you can add um, captions. You can also cut out parts of the video that you didn't like if you want to have you know, a heavier hand in editing. Eventually, you will save it. This is high-definition display. Um, while you're editing it, it is low res. But once you save it for high definition, it looks you know, good. That's the folder that you're going to upload to YouTube. After you save it, so we're going to go to YouTube. Yeah, and the first button you see is upload, boom. Okay, <clears throat> sorry for that hiccup. <clears throat> Here we are on YouTube. The first button you see there is upload, easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. And this is where you're going to drag and drop your final version, right? The saved high definition display version. Um, I'm going to do a dummy image here. And once you drag it over, it will start uploading and then you can publish when you're finished. Now, this is where you need to have a good description, a good title. Also, you want to make sure to add as many tags as you can think of that someone might be searching for your video. So uh, the tags are really important and add, I say add as many as you can. That's my personal philosophy. Um, eventually you want to monetize this. Uh, there's a monetization area. Um, I think it's under what's called analytics. And basically, that's when you allow ads to be on your video, which is a good thing. I mean, you might as well make a little Skrilla on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.